All right, so in this video, I wanna show you three tips to create better drum patterns in your beats, so let's get into it. So these tips are actually based off of my music course called Foundational Drum Loop Basics. I've just taken out some points to share with you guys, uh, you know, just to help kind of promote the course. So if you guys wanna check out the course, you guys can check the link in the description, but let's get into these tips, okay? So tip number one, is velocity. You know, you'll, you will hear this around a lot, but velocity helps us to create, um, you know, more organic drum loops, you know, so like they're not so sequence like. So I'm not just gonna tell you velocity and that's it, you know, like that's the tip. So, but with your main drum, you want that drum hitting hard and consistent. Like you don't want to be changing velocity on your main drum hit, especially when you're working with like hip hop and dance tracks, you want that drum hitting consistent. But where velocity will help you is if you're using like filler drums in the background, using velocity on these hits helps it to kind of, you know, kind of blend in a little better. And especially with like hi-hats and percussion and stuff like that, using velocity helps for, you know, a more enjoyable listen. And it can also help you to create more like rhythmic patterns out of your loops um, just by velocity alone. So in FL Studio, how you can adjust velocities is you, um, you can just open up the piano roll and you can click them, or you can hold on Alt and the scroll wheel and that will help you to, you know, um, adjust velocities really, really quickly. And since we're talking about velocity, I will tell you something about panning and drums. So people will always say, never pan your drums. Keep your drum always centered and stuff like that. And I agree with this with your main drum. But once you start working with other drums, like for myself, I like to use multiple drums in my drum loops. I don't like just to use one drum. Like I will um, many times layer, you know, drums, but on my layered drum, so like my secondary drum or the drum that's being like a filler, Sometimes I will pan this drum around just to kind of give my beat, um, you know, a creative edge because everyone copies each other. Everyone's like, don't pan your drum, don't pan your drum. Again, your main drum, keep that dead center, but your other drum, you can be creative. Here's an example. Okay, that track is called Thy Kingdom Come. It's off of one of my beat tapes. And, you know, I really, really like how that turned out and it was just from being creative, right? Okay, so tip number two is using more than one drum sample. I know I just said that, but when I'm doing this, I'm making sure that I'm checking the phase um, because if your bass cancels out, your drum sounds super, super weak. And in addition to having more than one drum hit, you could be using your secondary kick as a filler to make your track sound fuller, but not so in your face and aggressive and almost like, like it's too much. All right, and tip number three is don't be afraid to reverse your sound. So especially on like a clap, on like the last hit of like your drum loop, um, reverse your sound. But what you will be having to do is you will have to nudge the sound back a bit just to get it to line up. So reverse a clap playing with, you know, your original snare or clap so that it's kind of like Kind of like that. And if you want to get really creative, you know, try this with like percussion sounds and, you know, other sounds like that too. It's just about being creative and kind of knowing what tools you have available to you to make, you know, higher quality drum loops. And there's one thing if you've noticed, none of these techniques require plugins or anything like that. It's just being creative with the tools you have. Things like, you know, velocity, panning, note nudging, layering, stuff like that. All right, so again, these tips are based off of my premium music course called Foundational Drum Loop Basics. If you guys wanna check it out, the link is in the description. Hopefully these tips help you out and you know allow you to create better drum loops. I'm Gratuitous and I'll see you in the next one.